Today is the second day of the public session or tourist fight in Nürburgring. So that means... <sighs> saying good morning is like saying nothing at all because today is an amazing morning. Today is the second day of the public session or tourist fight in Nürburgring. So that means it's obviously a mandatory that I'll be going to the track, checking out some cars, meeting some old friends. Some of you have seen in previous vlogs of last year, some of you you haven't. But yeah, what else? There'll be a barbecue uh, at Rantec, oh, a lot of track driving. But first, yeah, let's go and see what's gonna happen today. Ladies and gentlemen, please have a look. This is a typical Nürburgring addict. I have arrived here to Atomic to upload some video while yesterday's vlog. And he forgot his keys yesterday. Alex from Rentec has them. And he will be here in less than 10 minutes. But he said, no, I can do a lap in the meantime. I'm not going to wait for him. See you. Yeah, see you. <laughs> <laughs> Short fast forward and I've been able to get inside my laptop is over there uploading uh, not yesterday's but the day before yesterday's vlog. Daniel is also already back from his laps. He initially said he'd be back in 10 minutes but once he got back he said well I actually did two laps. So you can guess that unless he did some crazy world record of the Nürburgring it took him longer than 10 minutes to come back. Just a small detail. Right now the guys are chilling and I'm going back to the track. Actually not back to the track, I'm just going to the track to do a couple of laps with Mantas E90-325. I think by the time this vlog gets uploaded there will be already like a nice review of the car in a separate video and if not it's coming tomorrow. Don't know about the plans yet. But yeah, let's go to the track, meet some old friends, make some new friends and just have fun. Ooh, some drone action is about to happen. Alex, make sure not to drop the drone on the up. It will upset me. <laughs> but first I made a small stop at Rand for Ring because since I'm planning to drive the E93 25 for Ring Freaks, which is a caged race car and Mantas asked me, could you bring a helmet? I'd love to, but unfortunately it's behind the closed door with a changed lock at Ring Garage. So thanks a lot Rent Ring for sorting me out with a helmet. Let's go to the track. Arrived at the main parking and my god, it is definitely a lot more busy than it was yesterday. And for obvious reasons, because a lot of people still have to work on a Saturday and today is Sunday. And pretty much, again, a lot of people have seen yesterday's video, yesterday's pictures and they thought I have to come there again. Just a reminder, amazing weather with 11 degrees, which is quite warm if you... Yeah, typical Nürburgring things, cannot talk because the engines are roaring. Nice GT8, I think, or a GT12. Sorry, I need to ask Shmi because he's a more of an Aston Martin connoisseur. I see that Mantas is already here with his uh, M3, race M3, I also saw him. 488, what else do we have for today? Ooh. Ouch. Yeah. Oops. Well, Robert had the same issue with his LT last year. Uh, you may have seen the video on Boosted Boris channel, maybe not. But yeah, other than that, apart from the uh, crashed 488 uh, Zettel 6 Corvette, and one of my goals is definitely to have a lap in one of the Corvettes because they're pretty fast and kick ass on the track. And I found the yellow taxi of mine. Right now, I'm ready to go, so it is a taxi. And after that, I will go for a couple of laps myself. Hello, sir. Hello. What's it's the not taxi? We don't have license. <laughs> <laughs> Little disclaimer. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just fun ride. True, me. true, true, yeah. true. You need a taxi license to uh, yeah. do pa well, paid passenger laps on the tourist of Ireland day. But right now, it's not paid because well, it's training for me. Point of this 
today. Yep. It's a yellow section of the carousel because Daniel, a friend of mine, has an exploded tire. Why? Because he has an exploded tire. <laughs> I don't know why. Daniel that was some really good fun and I'm being joined by a mini with red license plates and it's one of my old friends I told you earlier about Nicolas hello what's up what's up how are you doing good good lapping the mini today already did, uh, did nine lap man nine lap I just recover from my my accident so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying a little bit and everything you know yeah Good. Doing some data logging as well? No, no, it's just for the <laughs> GoPro. <laughs> okay, if you want to see this guy driving the Cup Vlog 51 and 52, I think from last year where he rented uh, Ring Garage's Porsche 901. And I think you still have some laps from them, right? Yes, exactly. I, I hope they will give it, give it to me back, huh? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Well, I'm still waiting for my stuff. I don't know how they're gonna look at you as a customer, you know? Yeah, man, but they owe me 1,400 euros, so I hope they will be like... Yeah. No, it's normal, you know, they own me money, so or they give me the well, money back or they give yeah. me lap with the car. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It. Well, get in the line, they owe me also a lot of stuff. But let's not talk about the bad things, let's talk about the good things. I'm happy that you're recovered, you it's can normal. drive a car. Yeah, man, you want to see what's my, my, uh, my secret? <laughs> a sock in my shoes. A sock in your shoes? Because I have a foot drop, you know? Ah, okay. So I have difficulty to, to, to put my foot up to go on the brake. Okay. So with this, the angle, I, I win two centimeters and that's the two centimeters. So that's not I only, need. so that's not heel and toe, that's <laughs> sock and toe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really so, good, uh, really good. But I just had like an uh, engine warning or something. Ah, okay. But it went off, so I will do, okay. we'll do a last lap and yeah. we'll see. Yeah. When are you going? Let me follow you. Uh, let me at least try it. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. In a bit, we're just changing some oil and uh, yeah, we'll go for a lap. Okay. Cool. Okay, now it's time for me to lap the 325. But before I can do that, I need a lap ticket. And although I have the app, I'm gonna buy a physical ticket. There has been a lot of misconception that because of the introduction of the new app you cannot buy physical tickets anymore. This is not the case. If you are still old school, you don't have a smartphone or credit card or PayPal that you require to work with the app, you can still come here and even use your cash money instead of cards and buy a physical ticket and have fun of the world's most famous, most demanding and most importantly most fun racetrack. And now that I have the Nürburgring Green Hell card, it's time to have fun. With yesterday's car, I would be in the Oh, bay. yeah, exactly. <laughs> It'll be over already. <laughs> right, right? I like it. amazing lapping but now Nicola is gonna have a go with the car because he said you know what I want to go racing as well can I be your teammate of course anyone can be my teammate have fun thank you man and don't crash our future race car I will go slowly okay do you hold it nice says very nice says very nice says so how it works, still nice ass in this shot, I'm sorry for that, I'm really really sorry, oh bald, bald man, let's go back to ass shot. 
and he's back. Everything's good. Yes. Come with me. No. Yeah. Okay. What do you think of the car? Ne neutral, you know, and really good braking. Yeah. Good grip, good turning. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe. It, maybe it needs a little bit more horsepower. Yeah, but you're not allowed to, you know. <laughs> Come. Yeah. Okay. Nikolai is kind enough to invite me for a passenger lap, and I never say no for a passenger lap. So let's do this. Thank you for invitation. Listen. <laughs> Thank you for, for letting me drive the car, man. Introduce me to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Uh, give it to me. Give it to me. And open. Uh, uh. Thank you. Race car problems. Yeah. Traffic, very nice. I did uh, 35 last lap. Okay, that was really cool. And once we got back into the car park, they closed down the track because, well, probably some accident. But that gives us a nice opportunity to have a look at some cars that are here today, which are slightly more special than others. A very nice 1M, but there is also one which is slightly more nice carbon fiber, very well prepped interior. And of course, mandatory spoiler. Hmm, this is special. And then if you're more of a show guy instead of a go guy, there is this. Some nice RS7 white body with very big MB design wheels. It looks nice, but I think it's still troubled by Audi steer. And a very, very cool Alpina B6. And that belongs to one of the friends of mine, Patrick, who is also notorious for having a very fast Team Shermer BMW E92, in which I really want to have a lap later this year. And he said that it's gonna be ready by April, so until now you just have to enjoy this Alpina B6. And then on the other side of car park, something more old school. Well, to be honest, I'm not the fan of this styling, but I guess the, since the car is asking so much for attention, we should give it some, don't you think? Ooh, interesting, interesting, very interesting. It does have exhaust, but this BMW doesn't, which is quite strange. So there you have it. You have pretty much everything at the Nurburgring. Cars without exhaust, cars with exhaust, cars with spoilers, everything. And then there is this amazing golf that caught my eye with the wide body MR teeny styling on it which is I think built by you right or with, my friend. with your friend Together. so what's so special about this car ap apart from well the body the kit white body. the white body but maybe under the hood something special maybe. as well maybe all original. oh Six oh horsepower. this doesn't look that it comes from 1980s <laughs> I think it's something new what is this it's a 1.8 liter yeah uh, TFSI no it's a 20 well uh -huh. The old, the old, uh, the old one. RS engine from the smaller uh -huh. and uh -huh. So how many horsepower? <coughs> Three hundred and fifty. All wheel drive? No. No. Front. Front. <laughs> What's suspension? Uh, KW. Club Sport uh, or competition? Club Sport. Club Sport. Yes. Nice, nice. Amazing, amazing. Original BBS rims yes. from Volkswagen. Yes. Two-piece Two piece original, Dean. CAE shifter, because race car. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. No bullshit inside. A little bit dirty. And it smells like gasoline. Carbon fiber. Very cool, very cool. Very, very cool. This truck session for some cuteness break. Aww. It's not okay, man. Krasoch, Akuyen, Agoy. I'm a 
must say that thing was fucking amazing. In the meantime, we're joined by Rentec team with my C63 and my A45. And that reminds me that we're gonna have a barbecue later in about half an hour. So I'm gonna go back there, do some boring stuff like emails and then food. So for those of you who always complain that there is no food shot, today we're gonna have Rentec food shots. Ah, you're hungry or what? It, so it sounds very loud. <laughs> Let's go get some food. Someone's hungry. And like promised, the food shot. But what you don't know is that they're not baked, but they are 3D printed. Um, that's a strange looking sausage. <laughs> what is it? It's a holder for the uh, demo part there. Yeah. So what are you planning to do on, uh, well, I think possibilities are endless, right? Yeah, you can print. Yeah. So, in case you need to have something 3D printed, the cars. yeah, cars. cars. We can print cars, but most importantly, <laughs> we awesome. don't need. Yeah, we don't need him anymore because we can print tr uh, sausages. <laughs> what? Yeah. No, just kidding. Well, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. Second day of tourist and fun session of 2017. But now, food time. Food time. Yeah, just as good as the cars that they tune. In case we're gonna get the autonomous bullshit, you know, and we won't need any tuning for the cars, you can still be baking sausages. Yeah.